down to Montaillac. What have you got for us? Montaillac is Santa Blanca's primary training ground. They've got a number of military-style training camps in the province and bring in recruits from all over South America. And Muro is spending big money to bring people in with special forces background to train cartel recruits. The senior instructor is rumored to be former U.S. military, but we don't know much more than that. I need you to gather intel on the cartel's training ops and get me an ID on the senior instructor. Solid copy, Bowman. We'll get on it. Looks like some sort of cartel training camp. According to Bowman, all the new recruits come through here. Santa Blanca hires ex-military guys as trainers. Not just Mexicans, either. Some of them come from Russia, Africa, Israel. Even had a couple from the U.S. What's got to happen in your life to decide working for a drug cartel is a viable career move? Nothing good. Let's tell the place up. I don't think we got enough hardware to take out the whole camp. We don't have to. We just have to kill the instructors. Without them, Santa Blanca doesn't have a training program. Copy that. Let's do it. Bad guy's in here. Drone is airborne. The signal's all bad. They're jamming the drone. for some indirect fire. Copy that. Shut out. The helo. Coming up on the objective area. Get in there, find the instructors, and take them out. Chopper inbound. <laughs> Alert's over. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Cypher's got us targeted.
Shots fired, the need ads engage with the cartel. The last of the instructors, we're done here. You really think this will slow the cartel down? Absolutely. When word gets out about what happened, El Muro's gonna have a hell of a time getting new instructors. And if the dumbasses don't listen, we keep coming back until they get the message. Instructors hit. Good kill. Target carrying submachine guns. We rattled somebody's cage. Clear over here. Got a location on a cartel resupply point here in Montiac. Looks like it provides most of the weapons and ammunition for the province. If we went in and destroyed those supplies, it would cripple cartel ops across the whole province. 200 recruits to Montiac last month. Helicopter inbound. Your man Bookhart sent 40 of them back. And now you're telling me another 30 have been injured or killed in training? What the hell is happening down there? Bukhar doesn't hold back. He trains the men the way he expects them to fight. That means live ammunition, live grenades, close quarter training with real knives. Mistakes happen. They're often fatal. What good does that do us? We need soldiers, El Muro. Not invalids and corpses. Choppers approach. And you will have him, Jefe. Bukhar will take the very best of those 200 recruits and turn them into elite soldiers Copter, that are down. tougher and better trained than any of the force in Bolivia. Nothing will ever fucking stop him. Nothing, El Muro. Not even ghosts. I... I... I don't understand. Never mind. Send me 50 of these elite sicarios as soon as they are ready. I may have a use for them. In use for training in Montioc. Destroying the stocks will bring training in the province to a halt.
I got eyes and a mounted weapon. Hold up. We got hostile activity. I heard a Sicario over here, close to the mortar. Got another tango. I got eyes and a mounted weapon. Coming up on the objective now. Weapons free. If it looks like a supply crate, take it out. Roger that. Let's light this place up. Damn, these guys got mortars. They got alarms rigged up. I got a narco over here close to the camp entrance. Spotted one with submachine guns. Weapon spray destroyed. Spray destroyed. Hey, that's a good pitch for Stick wire. for indirect fire. But your dad, Koopa. Shut out. Frag out. Get some. Ammo crate down. They've seen us. Frag out. Last of the crates. Objective's clear. You think it'll help? Shit, the way I see it, the less these assholes have to shoot at me with, the better. Go Wait. First training cycle graduated 84 Sicarios out of a class of 200. Aside from basic physical and mental conditioning, they received basic and advanced firearms training, hand-to-hand -hand combat, first aid, and basic infantry training. Since graduation, these Sicarios have accumulated a total of 431 for kills. This includes 47 policemen, 30 soldiers, and 11 high-value targets such as judges, businessmen, and politicians. Eight Sicarios have been killed and another 12 injured. There's a cartel commendation here. I think Santa Blanca gives out a lot of these. got a location on a cartel comm center here in Montioc. This could be the break we're looking for. How do you figure? We get in there, hack the message logs, and feed the intel to Bowman. With luck, she can scrub the records and come up with an ID on our mystery instructor. Chopper's approaching. Looks like they're feeling froggy. We've got a location on a Santa Blanca communications hub in Montioc. I need you to hack the hub's message logs and see if we can ID the guy running their training program. Hold up. We got hostile activity. Yo, two cartel gunmen. I don't see him. Over at the dump. The 
drone is up. I got a third. That makes five. Tango on the roof. Tango on the roof. Coming up on the objective now. We need to get inside and hack their message logs for intel. Let's move. They're gonna see you. Hold up. Tango on the roof. Tango on the roof. I got two Sicarios close. Where you got them? The terrace, see? I can wear this with my Class A uniform. <laughs> Downloading now. I'm pushing the take direct to Bowman. Stand by. Bowman, this is Nomad. I'm sending you message logs from a cartel concert here in Montioc. If we're lucky, the name of the cartel senior instructor is in there. I'm getting it now. Wait one. No joy. There's nothing in here that points to their top guy. There is something interesting, though. Looks like they've got search parties out looking for a deserter. One of their new recruits ran off a few days back. They think he might still be in the area. How does that help us? If he was in the training program for any length of time, it's possible he came into contact with our guy. You think this deserter can give us an ID? Only one way to find out. Got eyes on the cartel search party. What's the plan, boss? We find the leader and grab him. I want to find out what he knows about the deserter. Roger that. Got it. Moving. Find a good position. Copy. Target lower, boss. I'm opening fire. He made us. Get after him. Their lieutenant's running away. Talk to me, Pinche Pendejo. Who's this deserter you're looking for? Some little pocos huevos maricón de mierda who ran off from the training camp. Boss says we get to make an example out of him so the others don't get the same idea. We're gonna drag him back and let the other recruits take turns on him with a machete. Where's this little chicken shit now? We don't know for sure yet, but we're getting close. One of the other search parties thinks they found his trail. Where's this other search party? Tell me and maybe I'll let you go. Okay, okay, chinga. Closing in on the deserter. Let's sweep the area where he was spotted and see if we can find him. Got eyes on another search party. We gotta be in the right grid. Cartel's closing in. We'd best haul ass and find this dude before they do. Copy that. 
I got another. That's five. I've got eyes on the package. Go, go, go. I called the rebels for some indirect fire. Some old breaks close by. I heard the explosion. I have a shot. Okay. Come here. Mate, get the fuck away from me. Let me go. Shut up. From here on out, I talk, you listen. Not if you understand. Now move. I can't take it, you hear me? Yeah, brother, no lo aguanto. I can't. It, it, it's unspeakable, the things they made me do. They put a hammer in my hand and made me kill a 15-year-old boy. Me obligaron, I juro. I, I, I can't. Wait, no, let me go. Get that quieto. You want to get away from the cartel, Emilio? I can make that happen. But I need something from you. What can you tell me about the man running the camp? Carajo, I don't know. He's a gringo. Big man, cries like stones, you know? It's malo. Even the guards are scared of him. He got a name? One of the instructors, they call him Bookhart. Carl Bookhart? You know who he's talking about? There was a Sergeant Bookhart with the Rangers when I was in the sandbox back in 03. We worked together a couple of times. Shit. Get back to your team. I'll check in with Langley and see what I can find out about Bookhart. Emilio gave us a name. Carl Bookhart. Dude's an American? If he's the guy I'm thinking of, he used to be an army ranger. We even served together for a while. A ranger? No. No fucking way. Bowman's getting confirmation now. She'll get back to us when she knows for sure. Got some background for you on Carl Bookhart. Looks like you were right. His 214 has him in Iraq with 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment back in 03, discharged in 06, and then he drops off the radar. I'm getting the notion he's kept in shape. Our deserter tells me he's at a cartel base located inside the abandoned Choza Padre silver mine. Find Bookhart, take him out. Killing him will disrupt the cartel's training program for months. Copy that. We'll get it done. Get ready. Odds left, evens right. Focus on your goddamn sectors this time. Carl Bookhart, former sergeant, 3rd Battalion, 75th Ranger Regiment, natural born killer. Show me what you got, cocksuckers. Make me hard. Go, go, go! Carl was in and out of juvie from around age 15. Records are sealed, but the pattern is what you'd expect. At 18, a judge gave him the choice of joining the army or doing jail time. Bookhart thrived in the army. After graduating from Ranger School, he deployed to Iraq with 3rd Battalion in 2003. He finally found his place and was looking to make the army his career. And then in 05, his patrol hit an IED in downtown Ramadi. Bookhart didn't take to civilian life. Couldn't keep a job for more than a couple weeks and started having run-ins with the cops again started telling anyone who'd listen about how the army fucked him over. Eventually, he started spending time over the border in Juarez. God knows what Bookhart was looking for down there, but eventually he crossed paths with El Muro, head of Santa Blanca security. They share some beers, maybe some blow. Bookhart gets to talking about his army days. El Muro is impressed. He knows the real thing when he sees it. He asks Bookhart to come to Bolivia to train the cartel's army in the Montillo province. El Muro wants them to be the best force of its kind in all of South America. And Bookhart is just the kind of man he's looking for. 
The kind of man who can run combat drills, show a bunch of morons how to field strip a G36 in two minutes flat. The kind of man who could turn narcos into elite soldiers. Eyes on a narco with a submachine gun. We're closing in on Bookhart's last known location. We really gonna do this, boss? Kill one of our own? Bookhart stopped being our brother the day he went to work for the cartel. You see him, you take him out. No hesitation. Target carrying submachine guns. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Jesus, it smells like a slaughterhouse in here. The hell kind of training is Bookhart doing? The first thing a Sicario recruit learns is what it's like to kill a human being. They bring in prisoners and make the recruits take turns on them with hammers and machetes. Sometimes it's men, sometimes women, sometimes it's little kids. And the recruits know that if they hesitate, they're next. on me. Roger that. Relax. Hang back, Stop. that tango might spot you. you got a target carrying submachine guns. Still good. Yo, Sicario with a submachine gun. Tell me where. It's over, Bookhart. You're done. Got eyes on Bookhart. Target marked. We got him. Bookhart's dead. Hell of a way for a ranger to die. Bookhart chose this. Don't forget that. Good work in Montaigne. Losing Bookhart's gonna have a major impact on the cartel's training program. Santa Blanca's best troops are gonna be stretched thin to try and cover for the loss. It'll compromise their security and get us one step closer to El Muro. Damn right. The cartel's been calling the shots in Bolivia for years. Now, finally, we're starting to push back. Keep at it. 